Well, look, as I've said several times recently, sad to see we've gone from US President Donald Trump keen on a UK-US trade deal to Joe Biden and his allies who not just uh, have talked down the prospect of such a deal uh, being done, but of course we've seen Biden's allies getting involved in terms of the Northern Ireland Protocol, warning the UK against taking unilateral action that in my view is long overdue. And I know many of you want to see the British government get on and act. But Trade Minister Penny Morden uh, looks, there's, you know, there's been rumours that she has been looking at doing deals at state level, as I previously reported. And in a couple of uh, punchy articles today, uh, Penny Morden, again, as the Trade Minister, confirms this in what I think it is very welcome news. And I will put a link down to these articles below if you do want to go and read them. But Penny Morden in The Telegraph, talking about the benefits of Brexit being huge and Britain not sitting still. Talking about the individual US states uh, deals, saying while it's for governments to conclude top-down FTAs, we'll continue to uh, work to secure that with the US. Although with the Biden administration, please don't hold your breath on that one. Morden makes clear she's been going state by state to promote UK trade and remove barriers for business. And announces this week we will sign the first eight deals in a series of agreements with US states covering 20% of the country's economy. And a similarly punchy uh, article for the Conservative Home website, Morden points out they said a US trade deal couldn't be done. It can. We are doing it. Hitting out at armchair uh, lefties. But this week there will be a first memorandum of understanding with an American state. Almost half of 50 American states to follow including Indiana, Oklahoma, North and South Carolina and Texas to be one of the first eight. So look, as I said, sad uh, that it seems a UK-US bumper trade deal uh, with the Biden administration seems uh, pretty remote at the moment, unfortunately. But Morden, Penny Morden getting on and doing this at state level. And I certainly think some of her language is punchy. I think we need to see more of this, actually, from Conservative uh, ministers. Let me know what you make of... Penny Morden's big post-Brexit push and what she had to say there. Are you a fan of Penny Morden? I know she's someone who's been talked about as a potential future Tory leader. Are you of that opinion or not? As ever, I'll keep bringing you all the very latest on this and more, guys. If you do want to support my channel as ever, do hit the thanks button down below to give a super thanks. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.